it's Nicole Skaz. Welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and become a member of the Skaz Squad. If you are already subscribed, hit that bell and turn on those post notifications. So today's video is going to be super fun and it's kind of like Sephia Nygaard. I think I said her name right. Pretty sure. Style. I bought the first. It was supposed to be 10 items that Steve recommended to me. But it only ended up being seven items because three items were shipped very late. So I might include those items in a future video, but it's going to be seven instead of ten. So I went on Etsy, I typed in slime in the search category, and I bought the first ten slimes that were recommended to me, meaning the first ten slimes that were promoted by a person, and then Etsy promotes it, like basically people pay to get to the top of Etsy. So that's what these are, they are promoted, Slimes. So these are people who generally take their slime making business extremely seriously and they actually invest in making advertisements for their slime. So these are the first 10 slimes I ended up picking out. I did cut out the ones with ridiculous shipping prices. Remember, if you buy on Etsy, be sure to check out those shipping prices because sometimes people will just mark up those shipping prices and that's insane. I'm not gonna pay the extra shipping, like $20 for shipping or even $10 for shipping. I think $4, maybe $3 is good for shipping, maybe five, but if it's over five, uh-uh, I'm not doing that. Unless it's like a big package like this, then I could understand it because it's weight, it's heavy. But, so I did end up scratching those out of my shopping cart and I went with all of these 10. I think they look pretty good. I think they're gonna be some good slime. Hopefully, I mean, I'm, I don't know, let's find out. So here we are today, about two weeks later, and we are going to open up the seven packages, the seven little dwarf slimes. I'm super excited. Let's get on to the video. So here is my first package, and let's just open it up. So the first thing in the box is like the instructions, how to take care of it has a Laffy Taffy and some borax powder. Then it comes with the receipt and I actually really appreciate when the receipts are shipped with the item because sometimes I forget what I ended up buying. So this is the Berry Refresher Slushy Slime and the scent is Berry Fusion. So in total this cost me $10, shipping was almost $5 and the actual slime was almost $7. So here's my slime, and first of all, the aesthetic is nice. I like the two-toned colors. I think that it looks pretty. All right, so it does look runny to me. Let me smell it. All right, scent is, is pretty good. I mean, it, it smells how I would imagine Berry Fusion to smell. Very, very sticky. I will be right back, guys. I'm gonna make a little bit of Borax potion. So here's my Borax, and I'm just going to add a little bit and bring this back to life. It's funny because these two colors are definitely a lot different texture. This one's more of like a jelly-like texture. And this one, I guess the pink has less slime in it. It's more of kind of like a fishbowl slime. Like a thick fishbowl slime. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious you can see there's a lot more purple than there is pink. All right, so I'm just going to mix this up. All right, finally it is less sticky. This is a pretty color. It reminds me of a lot of slime smoothies I've made in the past. I had my most recent slime smoothie, which was the color changing pigments mixed into one. All right, so overall, I think that this is a fun slime to play with. It's still a tiny bit sticky for me, but that's just probably because I didn't add enough borax, but cool slime, I liked it. Let's move on to our next one. All right, our next slime comes in this super cool shiny bag, and I actually like that. I think that's a really nice touch of detail. Pulling it out, we have, I've actually, I've never seen any of these candies before. I know what Warheads are, but I've never seen like the sour dipping pack. That's pretty cool. And then what is a Zotz grape? I've never even heard of that. Produced in Italy. Hmm, let's try it out. This looks super sour. It looks like it's covered in citric acid. Oh my God. Can we get an instant replay of that face? <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay. It like bubbling in my mouth. I've never had anything like this before. It was like a very, very fizzy candy. You guys see that fizz? It's like fizzing. Interesting. It's cool, it's a cool different candy. Never really had anything like that before. All right, now let's try this super sour warhead thing. Is this sour? Oh my gosh, it's blue. Nope, that's sweet. I haven't eaten one of these things, like, like a dip in thing, and it's so long. That's really sweet. That's not even sour, that's a lie. 
That is a lie. All right, enough with the candy. Let's go back to the slime. All right, so I don't remember exactly what slime this was. I'll put it over here so you guys can see. But this is definitely a cloud slime. The scent. Hmm, how would I describe that? I don't even know how to describe that. It has a little bit of like a citrus, but like a candy citrus. I don't know. It smells like a good cleaning product. And then there's glitter sprinkled on top, which I love. I love the three colors. It's beautiful. I love these three colors together. It's like very majestic, unicorn-like. Ooh, that is some good cloud slime, if you ask me. I love how cloud slime usually isn't too sticky. Look at that. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. Look at those colors together. This is the most beautiful slime so far. I know we only opened two, but I really, really like this. I like how fluffy it is and the colors and the blues. Oh my gosh, I think it's just amazing. I guess I would say it's a tiny bit sticky. That is just beautiful though, I really like that. I love the colorless turn. All right, let's go on to our next slime. So for our next slime, let's see what's in here. Interesting, it came with a pencil. We also have our instructions, a tiny bit of borax, and the slime itself. Thank you, please don't forget to leave us a review. Okay, so this looks very similar to the cloud slime we just touched. Funny that I would grab another cloud slime. It has a couple other colors of glitter. It looks like there is pink glitter, silver glitter, and purple glitter in here. All right, let's pull this out. That's weird, it feels cold to the touch. Whoa. The scent is weird. I don't know if this is scented or if that's just how this stuff smells. So immediately this slime feels really wet. I don't know what these are called. You guys probably know in the comments down below, but it looks kind of like Orbeez Crush, like crushed up Orbeez or like some sort of aqua bead. So yes, it is a very, very wet slime. Nice, I like that. It does stick to a lot of things too. I wonder if I add some borax to it. I'm almost afraid to make it any more wet than it already is, but we'll add some. All right, so I added some texture and it still is an extremely wet cloud slime. I think that's because of uh, those aqua beads or whatever it is. You guys probably know, comment it down below what these are, these blue, purple, Oh, that's kind of cool. But yeah, interesting, very interesting. All right, let's move on to our next slime. Our next slime comes in this awesome matte pink. Very cool, I like that as well. Let's dump the contents out. Pink slime, pink bag. I wonder if they did that on purpose. Again, very nice attention to detail. Please print the receipts. So this slime is watermelon taffy butter slime. Scented, made with Daiso clay. Ooh, and this also says best seller. I've never got a slime that came with this thing before. I'm drawing a blank as to what they're called. I know I used to use them in science before, but I haven't been to school in like a long time, so what are these things called again? We also have some yummy candy. I actually love Tootsie Rolls, so I definitely will be eating those as well. Cool, I love how they show you pictures. That's like a very nice touch. I like that. Nice little card in here. All right, so opening this, Let's smell it first. Mmm, smells like bubble gum. Bubble gum, for sure that's bubble gum. It's like sticky but not sticky. It's, it's kind of like weird. All right, I'm just gonna add some borax now. Maybe I should get this off. I love the bubble gum scent. It feels like I'm literally playing with bubble gum right now. So I'm still trying to add my borax, making it less sticky. I can't get over the fact that it looks like bubble gum. Like, that's sticking to my table. I think this is actually one of my first butter slimes with Daiso clay. You guys know I do love me a nice clay slime. They're actually one of my favorite. Slimes, butter slimes, clay slimes, I love it. It's still sticking to my table. <laughs> now that I have nails, poking slime is so weird because that little indentation they make. 
All right, I'm gonna make a slime swirl with this because I know I can make the best slime swirl, so let's try. I'm trying hard and this just keeps stretching. It stretches so fast, I have like no chance. Oh my gosh, all right, I'm just gonna go for it. Oh my. <laughs> Fail. I think if there was a little bit more clay added to this, it would be easier. Cause it's just so drippy. I've never had a clay slime do this to me before. Oh my gosh. Not sure if I approve of this. I do like the color and I like the scent. All right, next slime. All right, so our next slime is this tiny little slime here. This is called blueberry butter and it almost matches my shirt. Okay, so I'm going to open this. This looks like another clay slime to me. Oh no, maybe I shouldn't have let it out of its container. All right, not, not as sticky as I thought it would be. That is a relief. Let me see, is it scented? No. So I'm happy that this slime isn't super sticky, to be honest. And I don't know, I think I'm wrong. I don't think this is a clay slime at all. I think this is just a regular slime. It is a very basic slime, but I like the color a lot and it's fun to play with that is for sure. So let's move on to our next slime. All right, so here is the next box. Let's see what we have in here. So I see, all right, so you guys, I don't know if this is an actual real company or not, but it's a .co, their website's a .co, so. Okay, so this is a strawberry lemonade butter flome scented. I am very excited for that. So just pulling it out of the box, it has like worms at the bottom and worms as in these. I don't know if you guys watch Graveyard Girl or not, but I call these worms now because of her. So this actually has a bag and it says strawberry Lemonade, okay. I don't know if they meant to do this, but this is actually strawberry lemonade slime. So that kind of like, how much money are you invested? That's crazy. Have like these little custom bags. I wonder if I bought a different type of slime, if it would say something different on there. I don't know. If that's true, that's pretty cool. It's a nice little unique touch. All right, so here it is. Ooh. Super cute, I'm in love with all of these baby pink slimes we've been getting. Interesting that all the phloem is at the top. Let me smell it. I had to smell it a bunch of times because it smells a little bit like strawberry lemonade and a, little, and a lot of it like slime. Let me just tell you the texture of this right out of the container is absolutely perfect. Perfect, like not sticky whatsoever. Beautiful, beautiful color. Very impressed. Not very impressed with the scent, but then again, it's not like super overpowering, so maybe I'm just used to my slimes being very overpowering with the scent. I, like, I feel like I need to smell this a million times because I can like barely smell it. I'm trying my hardest to smell it. I can barely smell it. I love the texture of this. This one is super fun to play with. I like this one, this one's fun. All right, let's move on to our last slime. So as you see here, ultimate slime box. Total of this was almost $50. This was $46.75, that's crazy. So $35 for the box itself, $11.75 for shipping because I mean, this is kind of like a heavier box. Oh my gosh, I did get four slimes in here and that almost makes the 40 bucks worth it because if you think about it, each slime that I bought today that is this size is almost $10 if not $12 in total. So the fact that I get four is awesome. It also comes with this goofy string. That's pretty cool. I have seen this at the dollar store so I know this is only $1. I've used this in my slime before. Then we have little containers of glitter which is so cool. It's such a nice touch. I like that. What is this? This is the borax. If this is the borax, that definitely should be labeled borax ice, I think, because I bet a bunch of little kids will be like, that's just white glitter. And then we have fishbowl beads. Oh my gosh, I was super excited for this one. 
We also have a cute little bag of foam. I like how it has hearts on the bag. And school glue. That's awesome, so I can make my own slime with this. It's like a little slime kit. Then it comes with some yummy candy. Ooh, this is actually my favorite flavor of Laffy Taffy. All right guys, so if you made it this far in the video, I have a challenge for you. I want you to hit that like button, but I want you to try and hit that like button with your nose. I know that might be hard, but give it a try, all right? But don't accidentally hit the dislike button. You know, you wanna hit the like button, not, to, not the dislike button. So if you, if you do hit the dislike button with your nose, use your nose again and retry for the like button. Also, I want you guys to comment, oh my gosh, I can't believe there was a cockroach inside of one of your slimes. That is going to confuse people and they're gonna say, what, where's the cockroach? And then maybe they'll rewatch this part and they'll be like, oh, I got tricks. It's cause I didn't watch the whole part of the video. So I will be liking and commenting back on a bunch of you guys' comments. All right, so I don't even know what slime to take out first. I guess I'll take them all out. See, oh, that's a nice little color palette. I like that. All right, so let's start with this one. It's scented, it smells like melon. That is a perfect color for a melon slime. And it's not even that sticky. Awesome. All right, so here is my slime and it's a beautiful standard slime, but it's melon scented and it's a beautiful green. It reminds me of spring and I love it. Here, it looks like it's like a birthday cake or like confetti slime. I wonder what it's gonna smell like. Oh, this one doesn't have a scent. Got me all excited for the melon slime and this one doesn't even smell like anything. And it also was very sticky when I just touched that. So I'm adding some borax. All right guys, I'm going to move on to the next slime since this one is not scented and it made me sad. Is this one gonna be scented? Hopefully it smells like strawberries. Ooh, oh my God. Oh my God, fruity pebbles. Fruity pebbles, I love it. Ooh, that's pretty satisfying right there. Let me get a zoom in on that. I don't know why I find that satisfying, but it's like, oh yeah. And last but not least, will this one be scented? It is scented, but I have no idea what the scent is. It's kind of like a, like an apricot maybe, or like an orange, like a tangerine, like a very light scented tangerine. This is clouds. All right guys, now it's time for the slime smoothie part of this video. So first we are adding the melon slime. Then we will add this ultra wet cloud slime. Ooh, that's a pretty color combo. I never really thought about that, like a melon color and a nice deep purple. Here's our phloem, so we have phloem on phloem on phloem. Oh, that's funny, <laughs> looks like the container. All right guys, challenge time. Screenshot your favorite part of this video, post it on Instagram and tag me in it. Don't at me, you have to physically tag me, that way I can see it because I get too many ads a day. And I will be liking your post. Ooh. Whoa, that looks so cool. Do you see this? Oh my gosh. Ooh. Whoa, can we get, oh, oh my God, that's beautiful. All right, here we go. I've never had a slime smoothie that was quite like this color palette right here. So I am super excited. I'm so curious as to what color this is gonna turn. All right guys, I want you to comment down below what color you think this is gonna turn. I think I already know what color it's gonna turn. I think it's gonna turn like a pastel purple. If you guess the right color, like your own comment that you commented down below. Do you guys ever do that on Instagram when you like your own picture? This is like one of the most majestic slime smoothies I've ever made. So many weird textures going on here. We have a theme going on, the slime sticking to the table. Normally that doesn't happen. All right, let's make a giant slime swirl if I can. Oh my gosh, this is so runny. I can't even do it, no, no. All right, you guys, as you can see, the texture of this slime smoothie is very, very runny. Can we make a bubble though, let's see. Ooh. All right, Sky Squad, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big fat thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Also, if you want more content, go check out my vlog channel. We are posting all the time, and it is lit over there. All right, guys, love you so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.